When we think about fatigue, fatigue has many dimensions. So there's this notion of overall fatigue, and then there are domains of fatigue that, that, const that constitute that overall fatigue. So there's mental, social, emotional, physical fatigue, for example. Um, if we were gonna make a prescription, I think is what you were asking me, for uh, mental fatigue, we would prescribe aerobic or anaerobic activity or the combination together. For example, we would tell patients you could do walking or, jo or uh, yoga for 10 minutes a day. Um, and then we would also talk specifically about the resistance component and we would suggest to them that they need to do 10 minutes a day, most days of the week, so three to five days a week, in order to see a change in that mental fatigue. The prescription looks different for physical fatigue. If we were going to make a prescription for physical fatigue, the data and the evidence suggest to us that we do in fact need to have patients do it moderate intensity, not low intensity. It needs to be at least 20 to 30 minutes a day of aerobic activity and that the resistance training component or the anaerobic component also needs to be at least 20 minutes a day uh, for them to achieve a benefit in physical fatigue. I absolutely think exercise is uh, the most important thing that we can offer a patient almost in terms of supportive care. Um, it's really important to provide treatments to uh, you know, cure the disease or delay the progression of the disease in cancer. But I think most cancer patients will tell you that while they want to live longer, they want to feel better, and they actually want to be able to live and do the things that are important to them. It's no mistake that the American College of Sports Medicine in the United States has a big program where they are talking about the fact that exercise is medicine. And if we could, in fact, bottle exercise into a little bottle and give it out to everyone as a pill, I think that we would see its huge effects across the board for many things. And in the cancer arena, that is especially true. We've learned that in the context of cardiovascular disease, in the context of uh, metabolic diseases such as diabetes, and we see it clearly in the cancer arena. It should just be part of standard care for every single patient walking through the door. They should have the opportunity to access it at several different points along the cancer continuum as they uh, manage this disease, which we now know is chronic. And I think we would see huge benefits. The evidence suggests in fatigue, depression, physical function, cachexia, sarcopenia, infections, nausea, vomiting, the list is really long.